Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have had a haircut, I hope we like it. It's definitely shorter than I was anticipating going because I have been enjoying my short bob but my hairdresser got a little bit excited and I think I kind of like it, I'm getting used to it. I only got it done like an hour ago so I'm still getting used to it. Um, yeah, let me know what you think unless you hate it and then please do not tell me that in the comments because I'm stuck with it and I kind of like it anyway, so yeah. That's the hair out of the way. Um, but today's video is gonna be looking at some of the pieces of clothing and accessories and shoes that I've kind of been lusting after lately. Um, I've definitely been going through a minimalist journey this year where I've really cut back and stripped back my belongings and looked more at my kind of values in terms of shopping. And that kind of left me with some questions whether I would do wish list videos again because I feel like it is quite indulgent. But a lot of you are asking me what I've been liking this season, what have I got my eye on, how is my style evolving and what pieces of clothing am I looking at to add to my wardrobe and things like that. So I'm going to do this video today. I'm not going to be buying everything that I'm kind of admiring at the moment. It's definitely more of an admiration than I need it, I have to have it because I don't really have that um, mindset on these things anymore. But there are definitely some clothing pieces and some trends pieces that I really really like and I thought I would share that with you guys today so you, you can kind of see what I've been loving and what I'm kind of yeah liking the look of lately so let's get straight into the video so although I have been kind of trying to really think about how I shop and and my shopping habits and making sure that I don't have too many belongings um there are some like fashion pieces I just love and I can really admire um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my list of the things I've been liking lately, liking the look of, and I think maybe I'll also talk through whether this is something I see myself buying long term in the future or not, um, because some of these things I might just like, but then if I'm not going to buy them, I can kind of explain to you why I like them, but why I'm not going to buy them. So you can kind of see my thought process in my shopping as well. So yeah, hope that's helpful. Hopefully that's helpful. Okay, the first kind of category I'm gonna go into is handbags. As you guys know, I really love designer bags and handbags in general. I'm always admiring people's bags when I'm out and when I see people out and about, I can always, I always love to kind of like drool over someone's handbag. Love a good handbag. Um, there's two bags. I actually had five bags I've been admiring lately, but I've managed to cut it down to two because who needs to have five bags? No one. Um, so the first one that I've been really liking the look of is the Chanel Gabrielle. I feel like at first a lot of us didn't like this bag and I certainly felt that way. I was kind of like on the fence about it. I didn't really think it was that beautiful or anything like that. But the more I see people out with it and the more I see how people are styling it, I really like this bag. I think it's really cool how you can wear it like on the shoulder and crossbody at the same time. Um, if I were to get a Chanel Gabrielle bag, I would probably get the small size in a tweed. There's actually one out at the moment. It's a black kind of, I think it's a tweed or maybe it's like a wool but like a black canvas material with Gabrielle written in multicolours across it. I think it's really cool and I think it adds something different than just getting a classic back black bag because it has got the Gabrielle written across it. And I also like that this bag isn't like a full leather bag. So I think if I was to get it, I wouldn't go for like a classic leather option. I would go for the tweed option. That being said, I have had a couple of you message me saying that you've heard really bad things about how the Gabrielle wears. Um, so in terms of actually buying this item, I don't see myself buying it. It's not even about the wear and tear of it, which for the price of Chanel, you should expect something to really wear well in time. Um, but I actually wouldn't buy it because I think Chanel prices are crazy and I just, I look but I don't touch. That's my new motto. Um, if I did get this bag in the future, um, I would probably get it secondhand because I think you could probably get a good price on it. Um, but yeah, so I don't really know much about the wear and tear of it myself just because I haven't looked too deep in it. As I said, I look but I don't touch. So I feel like if I started researching how the bag wears and all that kind of stuff, it's just going to make me kind of get the hype a bit more and I'm trying to resist that. Um, but it is a gorgeous bag and when I see it, I am like swooning, really swooning, but I'm resisting as well. Um, if any of you have had that bag or you know good reviews for other people to look at, because I know some of you have been interested in the Gabrielle as well and you wanted to know what I thought of it, um, can you leave in the comments below if you have it or what you've heard, just because then we can kind of see there um, whether it is worth buying or not, because as I said, I haven't really looked into that, just for me, like the price is not something I'm thinking about getting. I'm also in a bag ban currently. 
That being said though, I'm also really, really lusting after the Loewe puzzle bag. I know this is kind of like a hyped bag, so many bloggers have it. Um, I've been kind of admiring it for about six months now and I was considering getting it, but I keep pu pulling the reins in. I'm not gonna be buying a handbag. Like I have to stay stern on that. Cause I really wanna, like here I've got my, um, this is the bag I'm using today. This is my YSL college bag. And I got it a year ago, it's now a year old, and I still love it as much as I did a year ago. And I think it's very easy if I were to buy a new bag to kind of be like, oh, new bag, new bag, and be so into it that I wouldn't use that one as much. Um, and I really wanna make the most of what I have and love what I have. I think it's very easy to get in a mindset of um, continuously wanting something. Now I have thought to do a separate video on that. If you want me to do a video on like, my views on continuously wanting things or even talking about why I think we continuously want something and how we can solve that feeling of wanting let me know because I can do a video on that but yeah I'm just I want to enjoy this bag so as much as I love the Loewe puzzle bag um and actually I do think this is one I would get eventually possibly but I'm not buying a bag right now so if in like six months to a year I decided to Kind of treat myself to a bag i do think it would be the loewe puzzle bag i love that bag and i've been kind of tied between loving the jw anderson pierce bag and the loewe bag i didn't know which one i liked more um i think i like them both equally but for my lifestyle i think the loewe would work better because you can i think you could fit quite a good amount in there and i think having like a really nice bag like that where i could just bung loads of stuff in would be great because my bags at the moment are a little bit small um, so if I do want to take more out with me, I usually take my Speedy, my Louis Vuitton Speedy, or my um, backpack, like my Konkan, Konkan, I don't know how to say it, Konkan, I think that's how you say it, um, backpack out with me, whereas my other bags are a bit smaller. So I feel like the Loewe, maybe I would get it in the small size, but it looks really roomy inside. And again, I haven't really looked into reviews of this bag, just because I don't want to tempt myself too much when I'm doing pretty well resisting at the moment. Um, so I don't know how they wear but they seem like they wear quite well from what I have seen. Um, when I've seen people on the street with them, they look really, really nice. So yeah, those are the bags that I have been admiring lately. I know you guys have been wanting to know that for a while now, cause I haven't really been making like wish list videos or things like that. So yeah, that's why I thought I would share that, even though I am going to resist. Okay, next category to talk about is shoes. And I think last time I did my wishlist video, it might have been like at the end of spring. Um, time and I was really obsessing over Balenciaga trainers. I think they're called the Speed Trainer. Um, I think that's the right name for them. And they're basically like a sock trainer. Now sock boots, sock heels are so on trend right now. But because I don't really wear heels, I loved the Balenciaga version and I still love that version. I mean, honestly guys, I think in springtime, I had my heart set on those shoes. Like I was gonna buy them. Was it spring? Could have been like late summer. I don't know, time is just morphing into one at the moment. But because I am trying to really mindfully think about my purchases, I did pull the reins in on those Balenciaga shoes. Um, so if you're wondering why I didn't get those trainers, that's why, because I just feel like they are very high and I feel like I'm seeing them everywhere and I'm trying to have more of my own individual style rather than just wearing what everyone else is wearing. I think those are very popular. However, my I have still got my eye on a pair of Balenciaga trainers. I won't be buying these because firstly, they sell out everywhere. It's impossible to get them. Um, and secondly, I think they're extremely hyped as well. But Balenciaga have these trainers out at the moment. I don't know the specific like style name of these trainers, but I'll put a picture for you guys to check them out. Where will the picture go? Like somewhere, maybe like here or who knows. Um, these are really bulky, ugly trainers. Now ugly trainers is like a huge trend at the moment. So if you've got some ugly like tennis shoes at the back of your wardrobe, get them out, huge trend. And Balenciaga are definitely leading a lot of the trends this season. Um, I really, really like these. Alan tried some on when we were in Milan just to kind of see how they fit. Um, I tried them on two and they run really, really big. So I think you would have to size down maybe like one or two sizes with those shoes. They're so big and clunky. They're really cool. They kind of remind me of that kind of like punk platform era, like boot you would get, but in trainer form. And I really like them. I know they're so ugly guys, but I, I really like them. When I see someone out wearing them, 
I can't help but stare. It's one of those kind of pieces of clothing that you would really admire. Um, if I could get them and money wasn't an option and I wasn't trying to really think through my purchases, how would I style them? I think styling them with um, really, really loose trousers would look really cool. Cropped trousers would look cool. I think they would even look good with some really dark wash jeans or light wash jeans. So I think there's pretty, you can style them pretty much anyway. They would look cool with like a really feminine dress as well. Um, if you had a really feminine dress and then a really bulky shoe, I think that can look quite cool and quite on trend. Um, but yeah, not something I would consider buying myself just because it is so hyped. Okay, the next pair of shoes I wanna talk about is ones that I probably will buy quite soon. It's just a pair of penny loafers from GH Bass during the summer or springtime. Um, I picked up a pair of mules from GH Bass in black and white and I really like them, but I do struggle to integrate them into my wardrobe a lot because, you know, they're not the kind of thing I would wear every day. Um, I walk a lot when I'm kind of out on the weekends and then when I'm at work, I would wear more of like a full shoe rather than a mule so I'm kind of I still love those shoes that I got but I'm kind of I don't know I'm neither here nor there with them at the moment just because I can't I haven't got much use out of them so what I'm thinking to do is possibly sell them but I haven't decided yet because I do really like them so we're gonna hold the thought on that one but I am gonna be buying a second pair of penny loafers um, but like a full pair from GH Bass probably just like all black Again, I'll insert a picture for you guys to see. But I think these will be great for work. They'll look good with trousers, with socks. I love a really wacky sock with a loafer combination. I think that looks really cool and it adds some character to your maybe more tailored outfit as well. So I really like those. But that's kind of it for shoes. I'm, I'm not really looking for other shoes. I did toy with the idea of getting some Gucci loafers, but they had a price increase guys and it just made me feel sick and now I can't even look at the shoes because it's just not worth it in my eyes. I mean they're great shoes, I really like them but unless you can get a discount on them somehow, I don't know, the price is, I think it's like over £500 now. It's just crazy, when those loafers first came out they were in the 300 mark so I can't even, cannot look. Okay, let's get into the most exciting part of this now, or I think the most exciting part. We're going to talk about the clothing, the clothing pieces I have been really loving again some of these things i'm kind of just admiring from afar some of these things i really want to add to my wardrobe and i have some plans to do so um but the first one is a car coat i think these are so cool it's definitely more of a macintosh style coat that i would go for rather than like a classic trench coat i think a classic trench coat is cool but it doesn't really suit my individual like my personal style whereas i find a car coat because of the collar and the oversized fit to them they're kind of a little bit androgynous they're very 60s and i think they're just so cool so i do have plans to get a car coat um, I have been looking at Burberry, but it's very expensive. So I have also been kind of keeping an eye out on eBay and Vestia to see what um, pre-owned car coats come available. I don't want to pay full price for the Burberry. I did consider it. Tomorrow, Alan and I are going to Copenhagen. So whilst you're watching this, I am in Copenhagen. If you want to see what we're up to, just follow me on Instagram. I'll put it in the description box below. Um, but yeah, I was thinking because we're flying out through Heathrow, I could get it tax free in the Heathrow terminal but even then it was just too much money for me so you see guys I'm a changed woman I'm really thinking through my purchases although I love the Burberry trench coat it's not worth the 1100 that the price tag stands on it in Heathrow I could have got it for around 900 but even that I felt like was a bit much so I'm kind of trying to find something half price second hand that's what I'm looking for cross your fingers for me that I find it because if I do find that pre-owned I'm pretty sure I would invest in it because I think it really suits my style I can see myself being able to integrate it into my wardrobe that I have at the moment it's not like I would only be able to wear certain things with it I think I would be able to wear it with everything I own I also think I could get a lot of use out of it in terms of the seasons we have here when it's kind of cold spring cold autumn and then even in the winter I can just put a really big woolly jumper under it to kind of layer it up so I do think I can get good use out of it it's all those kind of things I've been thinking about that make me think that I absolutely adore this piece of clothing and this coat it would be a long-term investment for me and I think I could get a really good amount of use out of it okay the next clothing item is another um, jacket 
I really want to get like a raw denim jacket but really oversized. What I like about raw denim, I think that's the correct term for it, is it's very very stiff and it doesn't really, it's not like, I feel like um, kind of like washed denim or like stone washed denim um, can get quite soft and it can get quite well like fitted to your body. I want raw denim so that it's really structured and it doesn't really move with my body. Like I don't want to put it on and it just sink into me. I want it to be kind of like structured. I think I want to get this really oversized. I think the dark wash of the denim with the stitching that usually goes in the collar of this kind of style of denim would be really cool oversized but then with a really tailored pair of trousers and then a loafer or a uh, brogue, like a really clunky Doc Martin brogue. I think that would be amazing, really amazing. And I've seen Acne have got a coat like this, like a denim jacket like this. Um, it's in like the £300 mark, so it's not cheap, but Acne always have really good sales. So I might see if that piece goes in the sale. I think it probably would, because most of Acne goes in the sale, um, apart from like classic pieces, but this is a seasonal jacket. And yeah, I think if it went in the sale, I would kind of go and try it on, see how it is really oversized and see if it's the look I'm going for. I'm also keeping an eye out on Cos though, because they often do um, pieces of clothing very similar to acne. Um, and yeah, I like that denim jacket. I don't, I don't know if I found the perfect one yet, but we're going to kind of play the field. But I really like the idea of this jacket. Oh, love it. Okay, we've only got a couple bits left to talk about. The first one is I really want a camel coloured cashmere jumper. Uniqlo do beautiful knitwear. I absolutely have been loving Uniqlo this um, season. This, uh, where is it? I've got some jumpers here from Uniqlo. This jumper here, beautiful kind of like wine colour, just like a classic crew neck. Um, and I think this is the merino, fine merino or something like that. Um, but oh, just beautiful and so comfortable to wear and great price. Like this jumper cost me £19. Um, I'm just going to put that back there. Whereas the cashmere I think is around £70, but it is beautiful, beautiful cashmere. Fantastic quality. I love Uniqlo as a brand. And I think having like a camel roll knit jumper in cashmere would be divine. Okay, two more items to talk about quickly. Next up is an acne beanie. Again, this is something that I really am considering buying pretty soon. However, I don't wanna pay full price for it. It's like 110 pounds, I think, for the acne beanie. All of the acne beanies do end up going on sale. So I'm holding out for the winter sales. We'll pick up that beanie then. I think with my short hair, it will look really cute as well. And what I really like about these beanies is they're very big. So you kind of have them like around your head here, but then it sticks up on the top of your head quite a lot. Um, I don't think I have a picture of me trying one on because I have tried one on before. Um, but I'll insert a picture of the hat so you can see. And I love the little acne face logo you get on it. Um, I'm thinking to look at this in an electric blue color that is out at the moment. So hopefully that will go on the sale and not be sold out. Otherwise I'll have to try on another colour, but these hats are super, super warm. And now that I don't have much hair on my head, I need all the kind of like hat and scarf layering items I can get. Also guys, just to let you know that everything I've talked about today and like what I'm wearing and my lipstick and stuff will be linked in the description box below. If you're interested, you can have a look for more kind of information on these things down there. But yeah, that's pretty much my LUTs list currently. I hope you enjoyed me kind of talking through my thought process in whether or not I'll be buying something and that you found that helpful and interesting maybe for your own kind of ideas on how you would decide what you would buy going forward. It's very easy for us to get wrapped up in trends and just have so many things on our wish list. But I think if you can actually think logically about whether you just want to admire something or whether you're actually thinking to invest it. It can really help in making sure that you can save some money, but also that you're not just constantly splurging on things that are just going to sit in your wardrobe unused. So that's my thought process on it. And um, if you did like this video and you want me to do more, let me know so that I can do it again, maybe next season. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.